Let me see. Amate says, I just had an interview. Hold on. I just had an interview with Amtrak for Red Campus. Amate, let me tell you something. I'm mad at you. Amate, you know I'm <laughs> mad at you, right? That'd be called I. Uh, uh, which shows you that you are a true reflection of the universe. And that the universe is you. And you are the universe. Are you ready? You know what? Jalisa, I do see a little boy for you. Are you pretty? No, but it's coming. Oh, boy. It's coming. Can, can. <laughs> Well, it's coming. All right. Will my girlfriend Nay get justice for her son's murder? Mm. You know what? Ancestors is a hand handing out ass whoopings. And guess what? He came laughing at you. Guess what? She will get justice. Ancestors is on her side. But she is to go to court. Excuse me, she is to go to her ancestors before she goes to court. That's what Spirit is showing me. Jaleesa said, I wish, brother, I'm so ready. Oh, he's coming. That little boy's coming. You'll see. It's going to be sooner than you think, too. You'll see. That little baby boy's going to come. Just hope he ain't hard headed like Ken. <laughs> Leave Ken alone. Ken is not hard headed. Yeah. <sighs> How does one know what gifts one has? Mark Hassan. We could do a we could do a reading about it and see what gifts you have, but you know. I know ever since I was a little girl, I was spiritual. I used to talk to the trees when I was little. And I used to walk, there used to be a little uh, a little pathway in the woods. And me and my cousin used to go, we ain't had no business going there, but we used to go there and we used to sit in the middle of the forest and talk with the trees. I knew since I was a little girl. Uh-oh, Jaleesa for them, but I need my ring first. Oh, she said she need to be. You know, I'm going to tell you like this. I agree with you. Back then when I was with my daughter, she's 31 now. I was like, I need to have a ring before I have another. I don't want a baby out of wedlock. So I kind of agree with you on that, uh, Jaleesa. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Ken, Ken, get on your manly duties, please. Get on your manly duties and put a ring on that finger. Mm. Okay. Uh, what you, what question did you ask uh, Candy Rain? She said she said uh, about her who who was she who was pulling to? out her energy. Uh, she said soon as we cut her off, my ancestors got uh, bubbles again. As soon as you cut who off, whoever you was reading. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Ken. So, how does he know what gets? Let me tell you something, Ken. You stop. Come on. Look here. All I'm going to say is like this. This is your reading for tonight. You got a good woman. A woman who <laughs> loves you. And anytime a woman puts up with what I know she's putting up with you, Ken, you should have been put a, a ring on her finger. Mm. You should have been put a ring on her finger. You understand what I'm saying? You should have been running to the goddamn store to put a ring on that finger. Come on now, my brother. Stop playing. Because a lot of women wouldn't have went through shit, but you know what I'm talking about, too. All right, it ain't funny. Just had an interview. Just had an interview. Let me see. Amate says, I just had an interview. Hold on. I just had an interview with Amtrak for Red Campus. Amate, let me tell you something. I'm mad at you. Amate, you know I'm mad at you, right? Oh, Amate, you thought I forgot what you wrote in the in inbox to me? Amate, I'm mad at you. You was one of my favorite brothers, and then you showed your ass in the inbox, and you know I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out because you know you was out of order for that. You know you totally disrespected the ancestors for that. And I really shouldn't answer this question for you, but because I got love for you, my brother, I'm going to do this one more time. But if you ever... Ever, ever, ever in your black life, go in my inbox and cuss me out about something that the ancestors seen or did. Guess what? In your black life, I ain't helping you no more. <laughs> now, let me ask you your question. Just had an interview last week with an Amtrak for Red Cat position. Was wondering how will it turn out? Amate, let me tell you something. You know why you can't keep a job? 
Let me let me be real with you. Let me be straight up with you. You can't keep a job because you're supposed to be working for yourself. You're supposed to be a boss. And you got to stop looking for these jobs and work for yourself. Okay? That's why you can't keep a job. There's really nothing wrong with you. Don't say I didn't tell you so. You cannot keep a job because you got to start working for yourself. And let me tell you this. If you're wondering why you keep losing jobs or you're late or whatever's going, whatever the problem is, that's the answer to trying to let you know. Didn't I tell you you're supposed to work for yourself? Didn't I tell you you was a boss? Didn't I tell you you was a delegator? So the reason you can't keep a job is because of that. But will the job? Will you get the job at Amtrak? Spirit has told me a big yes, but Spirit has told me is not, you're not going to keep it. You're going to mess up that one too. Well, God damn. What you see? You want to answer the question? What you see, brother? I think. Uh, what do you see? What you see? No, I'm just, I'm just listening. I'm just what you listening. see? I'm oh, tap listening. into your little first eye. Go ahead, tap into your. You eye. already told. You got it, man. It. All right. Well, he needed. Okay. Earful. Well, he needed earful. confirmation. So, what do you see? Is he gonna get the job in Antwerp? I don't know. I ain't getting any yeah. get the job. But Let me see this. we did. I when we did our reading for it last time, we I had told him that he was supposed to be working for us. So we told him. That yeah, a long time you, ago. you he got that message a long time ago, y'all. This is CBD. This is pure CBD relaxation to relax you. So brother Dinkra is not smoking a cigarette or nothing. Okay, <laughs> here you go. Trying to be all cool with the thing in the cigarette. <sighs> Smoking, sitting back. Here you go, brother Dinkle. All right, I know I'm a boss. All right, then. So, what the hell you ask me a question like that for? You a boss. You ain't no do your. Come on now. And you know what? You need to start thinking like a boss. You need to start acting like a boss. You know what it is? Oh, Candy Rain, you said your uh, manifestations had slowed down and your house had got cluttered. You always got to, if you do a lot of spiritual work or any type of spiritual work, you got to. Keep your house clean, but organized. Also, organized, yeah. Clean, organized, and um. Sometimes too, though, you got to remember when you do spiritual work or you trying to focus on something to manifest uh, something, it don't just come right away just because you're putting your focus on it. Some things come fast, some things come slow. So just try to remember that everything happens when it's supposed to happen. Well, wait, let me just add this to this. Candy Rain is a major. Tr there's a major transformation co going on. Okay. A major trans I gotta take this off. You fix this, it's sticking me. A major transformation going on. There Do you have gratitude? Have you paid homage to that tree that provides the money that you have in your 